Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie and I'm a stay at home homeschooling mom to four kids. And today I'm gonna show you what I picked alongside with my soon to be second grader for her 2023-2024 homeschool year. First, we're gonna start with language arts and my daughter is still in a phonics program and she loves this program. I use this program for all of my kids, not only because they love it and they love all the fun activities, but because I don't get sick of teaching it. And I have just seen so many boring, dull, dry reading programs and kids are young when they're learning how to read. And so the reason why I've stuck with this program is because it keeps them engaged and it keeps me engaged teaching to them. And we just all really love it. So. What we use for phonics for our kids is all about reading. She is going on to level two and she is so excited. Um, we haven't opened it yet, it's still in the package, but my kids love this program because it has lots of fun activities. It's very hands-on. They are using their hands. They are using all sorts of different methods of learning. There's auditory, visual, kinesthetic, so this has just been really fun and she's really excited. Um, just wanna show you one of the readers. These books are so cute. I love these stories and they have the prettiest illustrations in here. It's just so fun. My kids get so excited to read these stories. Oh, I remember this story with my older child. She loved this one, so cute. But so we really love the All About Reading program for phonics. So we're gonna continue on with that for her into second grade. And then we are also going to use for spelling the same company, but different curriculum. And it is called All About Spelling. And this also has a teacher's manual and activity book. And the activities in All About Spelling are very similar to All About Reading, which my kids love, continued on into spelling. And, um, I just love how this curriculum is very explicit in the way it teaches spelling. It doesn't just have a word list that they memorize, it teaches word chunks and why you put them in a specific order and it just goes over all the spelling rules. So it's very specific, which I like. And my kids aren't very intuitive spellers. And so a spelling program that's more explicit in rules and how you spell is something that we need. And she is on level one because with All About Reading, they say to do All About Spelling a level behind All About Reading so that they know how to read the words before they're learning how to spell them. So we're going on to All About Spelling for her and she's excited about that. And then moving on to more of a language arts program, we are going to use what we have used from the beginning mostly. Brave Writers Partnership Writing. So this level is probably, well, my daughter's probably kind of borderline partnership writing. She's probably from like in between the level prior to this one and this level, but I'm just gonna combine her with my older child and do partnership writing and kind of adjust according to their skill level. And we just really love this program. They have. 10 writing projects in here and they're just fun they're light they're not anything too crazy but it's just fun to get the kids writing so we have not used partnership writing yet but in the jot it down version which is for the younger kids before this one they have fun activities like you make a mailbox and then you write letters to each other and you pass them back and forth and you kind of learn about writing letters and it's just a fun way to get them writing. So it doesn't really go into the mechanics of writing, but this is just to get them writing in a fun, creative way. And then we will be using alongside that, that kind of goes into more the mechanics and writing correctly would be their DART program. And we're really excited about their DART program. They pick a, a book a month throughout the year, and then they do copy work from that book, and they will learn grammar concepts through their copy work. And there's just also a lot of 
other fun activities to learn grammar. And so their first book is Otter. So we're excited to pull this out and read this book. We really like the books that Brave Rider picks. I will say, just like we do with any other books that we haven't read before, I do some research to make sure that the morals and the values align with our family's beliefs. So the thing that I like about Brave Rider is they also allow you to switch out one title if there's one that you do not like. So I did do that for one title this year and they have um, options that you can switch them out with. So if there's a book that you're kind of iffy on or not sure with, you can switch that book out for a different title. So we're excited about that, but we have really enjoyed Brave Rider and their fun activities and just getting our kids excited to read and to learn the mechanics of language arts. So we are planning on using the darts daily, and then we're going to be using the writing program, the partnership writing, once a week, and that will have its own day. We are also going to supplement with Brave Writers Language Arts Program with this fun book called The Dragon Grammar Book. And I've heard really good things about this book, and we love to learn through reading books and read alouds. And so this is a book that just reads like a story, and it's about this dragon. We haven't ever read it before, but I'm really excited to open it up and read the story with my kids about this dragon. It should be fun. And I feel like when you learn concepts this way, I feel like it just sticks so much more in their brains when it's a story. So I'm excited to read this. It's just gonna be for fun as a read aloud here and there. On to math. My daughter has used the good and the beautiful math in the past and she really likes it, but I also need something that will keep her more independent while I work with my younger child and then my older child. She likes me to be very involved in her learning. So I do think that my second grader will be able to be more independent this year. And so I am going to be using teaching textbooks with her and I'm really excited to try it out. We are actually going to do the free trial first and see how the, tree, the free trial goes. Um, it's really nice because they let you try it out for two weeks, 14 lessons, and then if you decide to purchase the program, what they have done will carry over to what you've purchased. So we're going to give that a try before school starts so that when school starts we have our um, math program all picked out and ready to go. If it just so happens that she doesn't like teaching textbooks, we'll probably just move on to simply good and beautiful math level two. I'm really excited to have her, to move her onto the computer for math while I work with my other kids. I am not one to be completely against screen time. I think that it's good and healthy to learn how to use technology in a positive way because we live in 2023 where there is technology everywhere. And so, I am not one to completely ban it from our homeschool, but I do want to show my kids that there are positive ways to use technology in a healthy way as long as we're not addicted and it doesn't consume all of our time. Something else that we like to do with math is play math games. So we're also going to be using a lot of math games this year, and I have a video about all the math games that we love, and I will link that down below. I feel like my kids also learn a lot better through play and games, and so that's why we like to use math games as well. Okay, moving on to science, we are going to be continuing a program that we have started briefly. We've gone a few lessons in, and if you have seen my fourth grade video, you've seen a little bit of this curriculum in that one as well. And my kids love this curriculum so much, and it is... Teach Me Health and Homeopathy. So this is the read aloud book that teaches the concepts. And this is the teacher's manual. And this curriculum just teaches all about homeopathy and how it helps your body to heal because your body has the ability to heal itself. And I just love everything about this curriculum. I want to show you inside the um, story but here it just has such pretty artwork I will say that each lesson that has you read out of this book it's it's a long read aloud it's about an hour of reading and so we do break it up over a few days sometimes we'll listen to it during lunch but aren't those so pretty 
Um, they have the option to buy the audio on their website, which we ended up doing because I just couldn't sit there and read the whole thing to them having my preschooler with me. It just was impossible. But it also has a student book that they will work through and a lot of the activities are done through this book. They have lots of fun activities in here, coloring pages and um, they also have copy work. Hopefully I can find an example of the copy work in here. Um, they have cursive and non-cursive copy work, which one we would like to do. And so this curriculum is a bit pricey, but I think it is worth it. You get this book with all this pretty artwork and it's a big read aloud. And my kids love the stories in here. And this is not consumable, so you can use this in future lessons. And I believe it also corresponds with the older, older grade level workbooks as well. And obviously the teacher's manual is not consumable as well. The only thing that is consumable is the workbooks. And so in the future, if you want to use this with other kids, all you would need is the workbooks. And so we're excited to finish this this year. We're planning on doing science one day a week. So we're going to be doing our writing one day a week, science one day a week, and history one day a week. And then all of our supplements are just going to be sprinkled in every day whenever we feel like doing those. Okay, another supplement for science. We really love the Well-Educated Heart. If you haven't heard about the Well-Educated Heart, I highly recommend you check out their website. Um, just the welleducatedheart.com. They have a huge library online of just all these different books that you can check out. Or yeah, you can check them out if you click on the library archive, they have it linked. And Marlene Peterson is the one that compiles all the books and she is amazing. And so we just pick lots of different science stories from there. We will also um, pick other subjects um, from that website as well. But so here is an example of a book that I purchased from them, but you don't have to purchase these. You can find them for free on their website. And so we will use this for our nature study as well, going along with Teach Me Health and Homeopathy. But we'll do this more as a read aloud throughout the week and have them write down their narrations or a draw with this. They have a monthly rotation where they go through different subjects. So when we are on our STARS subject, we will also do these books and these are all just together as a family not just my second grader but i thought these books were so cute from paper pie so i think the kids just love to sit down and go through picture books together so and i think that they learn a ton from these books and we can just do this quickly with the family so this book is called the big book of stars and planets so we're excited to read that one and then this one's cute too, pop-up space. And it's just like fun and interactive. I love these books, they're so fun. I'll just have to keep my baby away from this one. And then look inside space. This one's a lift the flap, lift the flap book. My kids really like these. If I can, I haven't lifted this one yet. <laughs> Don't wanna break it, okay. How cool that is. My kids love these. Oh, and then look inside the sun. So we're going to be reading Look Inside Space as well. And then I also got this um, tiny solar system from Paper Pie as well. And I will link everything down below so you can find everything easily. But I just think having this little model will, would be easier for them to visualize like how the planets line up and everything. So we got that. Okay, and then moving on to almost last but not least is history. And my kids begged for this because they love this curriculum. They think they like all the activities that go with it. My kids just love activities. So we are going to be reading or using Story of the World and they have a read aloud book to go with each lesson. We bought the MP3 online, so we listen to this as well while I'm like doing dishes while I'm listening so I can get things done. And they have coloring pages in this book. You can also order them as PDFs 
on their website. Um, so you could color, and then they also have mapping in here, which is awesome. So they get to mark the map in the region that we're learning about. And this also has um, like picture book suggestions. So we buy a lot of the picture books from here to go with the readings. We'll usually sit down, listen to the lesson, do the narration questions, and while they're listening, they'll color. Then we'll do the narration questions, and then we'll do the activity that goes with this, and then we will do a picture book. And that is our history for the week. We do this once a week. So the kids really love this a lot. We use um, air dry clay for a lot of the the activities that like make little pots and stuff to resemble like ancient artifacts. They really like it a lot. And then to supplement history, we use books from The Well-Educated Heart. We also use Ambleside a lot. I forgot to mention that with the science. We will also pull read alouds from Ambleside and they're just for fun too. We don't necessarily go strictly to their schedule or anything, but we'll just pull books from there and read them. But this is also from The Well-Educated Heart. This is a compilation of stories from, um, this is, I think, this is exploration and discovery. And I think they have stories of like Christopher Columbus discovering America. And so we'll just kind of loosely follow the rotation for a well-educated heart for history as well, just as read alouds whenever we feel like it. We're not gonna put this on a schedule and feel too stressed about getting to it. They just have, awesome stories that my kids love to listen to and they love to um, learn about the people that are in these books. My preschooler has even come up to me and talked to me about the Wright brothers just from listening in. It wasn't like I sat him down and made him listen, but he was listening because these stories are so engaging. And he also loves learning about Thomas Edison. That was also from The Well-Educated Heart. And so we really love implementing The Well-Educated Heart in our homeschool. I will also let my second grader um, just kind of tag along with me and my fourth grader. We are going to be learning the states and capitals this year, so I have a bunch of resources to help her memorize her states and capitals, and I will link that video down below if you're interested in learning about states and capitals. I have a bunch of resources on there that you can check out. If there are any curriculums that you would like me to flip through so you can have a better look at, just comment below and let me know. And that is it for my second graders curriculum that I picked for the 2023-2024 school year. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.